Hi, so I want to do this video on uh, uh, a fluorescent lamp repair. So these are one of those fluorescent lamps in your uh, workshop. And the lamp I have has those uh, one inch, four foot uh, light bulbs, fluorescent light bulbs. So it stopped working one day, it was, it was buzzing. Um, and it was making a weird buzzing noise and all of a sudden the lamps didn't work and I figured it was the light bulbs. Uh, change the light bulbs and it turns out it's more than light bulbs. So the way this thing works is there, there's a thing here called the ballast, which is the electricity regulator uh, for the frequency of the light bulbs. And uh, this, this thing is all one unit. It's the main unit of the uh, fluorescent lamps. And it, it was hooked in like this. Usually it's just in the middle. So it, it was encased in the middle. And I, I just snipped the lines. Uh, so there's a there's a black and white line that comes from the wall that that you hook it up. That's the main electrical. Um, so you'll you'll notice here on the ballast there's also a, a black and white line. So that's where the main electricity hooks up to your house. Um, and then there's one red line and two blue lines. So you're gonna have to replace this whole unit if if you figure out. Uh, that that's what the issue is and this unit cost about fifteen dollars uh, so I, I found the replacement a Phillips or a GE replacement at Home Depot um, and uh, you know you, you want to make sure that the megahertz is right and the voltage is right so here I have a 120 volt and a 120 volt uh, 60 Hertz so I went to Home Depot and a I got a replacement so I just snipped the lines because the original actually uh, is in kind of one unit. But first of all, I, I just want to say that th there's a plate in the middle that you kind of have to squeeze. So it clips into these things and it uh, is, is kind of like a, a cover for the middle. So when, you, you kind of have to squeeze that and uh, kind of uh, have it come out. It, it doesn't take uh, a lot of uh, strength to do it. it. It's just a slight squeeze and then you unclip the bottom and that's that's how you get exposed to this piece here. Um, and once once you identify the length of your ballast, so I got a replacement that is the exact same length which is perfect because the, the screw will fit in here and it, it kind of slides and it clips in here. So uh, I'm going to uh, have a quick replacement uh, simply because it, it's the right length and it fits. So uh, remember, I, I did buy one with the correct megahertz. So you'll notice uh, on this side, it is uh, 50 hertz to 60 hertz. And then there's the type of light bulbs that it uh, kind of supports. So um, just make sure you get those specs. but. Uh, after you do that, you simply expose the wires, uh, connect them, and there you go. Uh, they're color-coded, a uh, black, white, and then two blues and a red. So uh, it's not like you can mix it up. Um, but again, this thing cost just um, $15. And the whole fixture, if you were to buy this new, would cost you about $30, $35 to $40. Um, okay, all right. Uh, that's all I wanted to say about this uh, home repair and uh, thank you for watching.